This is Real Naughty. You're welcome to Real Naughty. Welcome to Real Nollywood. Whoa! It's interesting to know that a whole lot is being put into the art of filmmaking and it takes a whole lot to understand the art because filmmaking is a total production. It has to do with the producer, the director, the actors and a whole lot of other people that are behind the scenes. So, for most of you who urge to be an actor, there are some other things you can also urge to be a film producer, a director, a property manager and all of that. Well, you're welcome to Real Nollywood. My name is Colin Stoker and I'm here to share with you my movie world and I've got this brilliant, interesting segment to share all of that with you. I've got your Nollywood story, knowledge is just just in making of blockbuster films and current events that's ongoing in the industry on Noll event. Not forgetting Nolly Carpet Retro and Moment. Yeah! <laughs> Knowledgeist, yeah, Knowledgeist is just about you celebrity in the industry who is doing something good, bad, ugly and something new too. And uh, let's find out who and who is making the headlines for us on today's Knowledgeist. It might just be you. Knowledgeist, just just it. One, two, three, four. Who no mortal can ever kill. So let us turn Nigeria upside down. I am the law and will do what I please. So yeah, man. No diplomacy, no compromises, no agreement. A documentary film Finding Fella had a press screening at the Silverbed Galeria VI Lagos. Finding Fella tells the story of Fella and Nicola Bokuti's life, music, social and political importance. He created Afrobeat, using that as a political forum to oppose the Nigerian dictatorship and to advocate for the rights of all oppressed people. Fella was very misunderstood and a lot of people, it was not until he died that they still actually seeing what Fela was about. It was not until they saw the way the world took Fela that they as Nigerians actually started saying, ah, maybe Fela wasn't really that bad. Yeah, he may not have been like this, but maybe he wasn't all that bad. This kind of movie that would even give you a better insight into what he was about. First time I saw the Broadway show in New York, I was very moved. I was so moved that I shed tears. I cried. I cried, and I'm proud to say that. The reason being, uh, I feel very privileged to be alive in these times. Uh, sometimes, these days, I look in the sky or wherever, and I say, fella, where you do? Hey, come and see you. You know, those days, we never knew that you get to this. We never knew. So it's a happy moment for me. Yeni Fela's daughter also spoke on celebration in honor of her father. Well, we are starting on Sunday with the documentary. Then we have our symposium, we have our mention of um, Nigeria. Then we have music from Tuesday, no, from actually Monday evening to Sunday night, Sunday morning, Monday morning. So this year, hopefully, will be another successful year of celebration. And you will all be there. What does it mean to be out there in the street caring enough that you're going to stick your neck out again to be punched, stabbed, arrested? As far as Africa is concerned, music cannot be for enjoyment. Music has to be for revolution. Music is the way for On the African International Film Festival at Frif 2014, a press brief was held at the Upper Hall Eco Hotel in Suits to announce the opening of this year's film festival come the 9th to the 16th of November at Tinapa Calabar, Cross River State. Most exciting. So much more. Every year it gets bigger and better. You have people that buy into the festival. 
based on credibility. So we have Relativity, Relativity Studio come on board this year. We have MIPCOM. I couldn't talk more about MIPCOM. Thanks to NBC, we have MIPCOM. They're coming to the festival to talk about their involvement, to talk about the gains of, of having a MIPCOM in Africa. Um, it's a distribution network that you cannot, you can't, you, you, I mean, what, what, can you, what more can you want? Um, so going forward, the film festival is going to have a film market. Um, you have seminars, different people coming on board for the different seminars, and then our trainings, which is my love. This year's uh, AFRIF is coming up in November in Tinapa from the 9th to the 16th. Um, it's going to be a week of fun, it's going to be a week of um, knowledge, we're going to learn a lot of things, a lot of um, actors, you know, would-be actors are going to be trained, um, directors are going to be trained, fantastic films from all across Africa are going to be screened, so it's going to be a one week of pure pleasure, one week of a great film experience. Well, the procedures are like every festival. The, 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 uh, the, uh, we, we have, uh, uh, we, we, we call for submissions at the beginning of the year, and then films are submitted, and then we have uh, various deadlines. And uh, at, at each time, uh, when the films are submitted, I watch as much as I can. And um, once the deadline is over, you know, then I will see whatever is available. If we think that, you know, sort of we still need one, one category is, is, is lacking uh, entries, I have to solicit uh, uh, for that category. For example, you know, you know, if we think that, you know, sort of the documentaries are less than we expected, we then have to go out and, and, and look. Hi, my name is Rita Dominic. Hello, I'm Golile Shavalala and I look forward to seeing you, Africa. And we're looking forward to welcoming you to AFRIF 2014. From the 9th till the 16th of November. In Tinapa, Calabar, Cross River State. Be there, we get to meet each other and enjoy the festival. Mwah. Just chasing. Alrighty, well, welcome back. It's still real Nollywood in case you just tuning in you have not missed much we're just starting out and finally it has happened the lagos premiere of invasion 1897 and the civic center saw another environment totally benin was brought to lagos <laughs> getting to see all of those artifacts and uh, get to really understand that we're telling the story from the point of view of the indigenous themselves not just what was written on a literature book but he titles it invasion not massacre like everyone the person know but let's see the sights and sound of what happened at the civic center here in victoria island Lagos, and it's invasion 1897. Mm. i think i was looking like one amaina ball of somewhere i don't know but let's find out announced to you that Invasion 1897 has finally opened here in Lagos and it's the Lagos premiere. Of course, it is an invasion. There wouldn't have been a massacre if there was, not, if there was no invasion. That's what we are trying to correct. That's the reason why we're back on the project. We are questioning some of those takes on why was it a massacre, why, whether it was what is, um, an invasion. So we're pushing. Before now, when you Google uh, Benin in 1897, you see the Benin massacre, Benin punitive expedition. But now uh, the status quo is changing. You see uh, uh, the massacre too. So deliberately, we also wanted to push up our own side of the story. I am acting consul James Phillips. I am spirit. I must trade with the white man. We 
must do it as equals. The white men are approaching Benin, my lord. White men. This is Invasion 1897, and I know you started this from the beginning. You know, you supported this work. What was the interest? Well, I'm delighted to be here this evening. One of the reasons I supported this um, film is uh, first and foremost, I'm from Benin City. My, gran my great grandfather was involved in the 1987 uh, evasion. And um, besides, uh, it's my family that produces the bronze. And uh, that's the object of the film. Already said behind every strong man there is a strong woman and invasion 1897 wouldn't have been possible without the strong woman who supported Lancelot to do a master through the thick and thin. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm great. So how has it been this journey? Oh, it's been sweet and sad. When I mean sweet, we thank God all the trials we've been through. We've seen something positive for it for today. The movie, the production, raising the funds, being away for such a long time, at the end of the day, we are reaping the fruits of our labor. So that's why I said it's sweet and sour. of his intelligence but because of everything you know what his influence in my career um, I've worked with him several times and each time I work with him I get to improve he's an actor's director he's 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 like a senior like brother seriously. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> seriously <laughs> so why won't I behave I hear that he's doing something if I can go there I will go there trust me even if I don't have an invite <laughs> did his research consulted the people that were there before him and all of them and brought all of them into the movie and then of course he had great supporters and all and, and all and I really do want to say I mean well done brother you've done so well I said I wanted to produce ETR I see Senator this as the most respected at home one living and I pushed out and I wanted to meet them she said no let us tell the story of Avram. When you look at the end of the story, and you find that despite the fact that uh, Ovorame was venerated and almost seen as a god, painful as his fall was, and wrong as it was for the British to invade the uh, Bini Empire, I did draw a morale from that. You know, and the morale was, no man is God. So, if I am portraying that role, I'm the one portraying the role of being an Oba who is like a god, but I'm also going to be the one who will have to capitulate and surrender to a power at that time that was greater. And it's a message that goes on to say, essentially, no man I will god. not bow to the white man. The masters want to betray. Now they have it. Leave my people alone. Just, a great movie of this magnitude wouldn't be complete without the editor and special effect person. I have the special effect person here. Your name, sir? Jeffrey Ganya. Jeffrey. And then the editor. I'm uh, in my swim. Well, great job, guys. And how do you like the reception that came from the works? Well, from the onset, we were anticipating something like this. So thank God that uh, people accepted the job and we are happy with it. This is a proof that this production was totally made in Nigeria. It is made in Nigeria. Every piece, right. everything you see. So all that special effect was actually done by you? Yes, sir. Here all in right. Nigeria. Here in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I am acting consul, James Phillips. I am spirit. I must pray with the white man. We must do it as equals. When well, you I asked me this a few days back, I said it is... Um, this is a nice uh, seminal piece on uh, Bini history, which was well articulated 
and done to the, to the best of the director's ability. So we, we give kudos to him and um, it's another staple effort um, for Nollywood's greater, greater glory. Fine, I'm doing yes, I, I've seen it several, uh, several times, uh, but each time I'm invited, I try to come because it, it's a very beautiful movie and I think I'm very impressed with what I've seen, what Lancel has done. Uh, I think this film will go places. Uh, I think it's, it's, a, it's a new complexion of Nollywood that we are doing well. I, I think I give it tops for the sound, for the court, for everything. I, I think it's a beautiful one. It's about pride. It's about pride, and uh, having that kind of uh, identity for all of us as Nigerians, not just as people from uh, Edo or people from Benin. As Nigerians, we should have that pride, and I think um, whatever is ours, we should hold on to it. I think that's it. Let go. Let go. Let go. The artwork is mine. It belongs to my people. Benin in 1897. I am acting consul James Phillips. I am spirit. I must pray with the white man. We must do it as 